Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is for the April Fright Crate. And yes, they're still running behind, unfortunately, but whatever, it's fine as long as the boxes keep coming. Uh, I do remember one thing in particular that's going to be in this box. Not the specific item, but one, um, one particular movie that there's going to be an item from uh, that I was hoping would be the shirt, but it's not because I had a friend who actually informed me of what the shirt is. He actually showed me, because I was doing, it was actually during our watch party with subscriber Uncle Pete, because he was very excited about this particular shirt. The design is really cool, so when you see it, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that's really sweet. Um, so I, I'm happy about that, but I'm also very let down that this one particular film that was going to have an item in this box isn't the shirt, because I would love for it to be a shirt. But I'll talk about it when we get to it. I just realized I need to read the quote because I always do the quote. The quote is, Clyde Barker, all I've ever wanted to do was darken the day and brighten the night. That's pretty cool. It's a good quote. And by the way, Clyde Barker, super cool dude. I actually was fortunate enough to meet him uh, two years ago maybe now. Really good guy. Actually, if you can see it back here, right here, this Japanese uh, poster for Hellraiser. Signed by Clive Barker on there. You can't really see it, probably, but it, it's signed. So anyway, let's get in this. So now I'm very interested to find out what item is for that particular film. Packaging. Their boxes are always good, though, so, you know, I'm not going to have a problem with it. Yeah, so this is the shirt I knew was coming. It's a really nice shirt. It really is. For a movie that everybody, like, knows and loves, and... This has been another one of my things. When I go out in public, a lot of times I am wearing horror shirts. So I get a little bit self-conscious when there's like kids around. Because I'm like, oh, is this shirt a little too much for them to be seeing or not? Because you never know how parents are. Like some parents are totally fine with that. Some parents are just like, oh, look at that person with terrible stuff on their shirt. I hope my kid doesn't see it. So I don't know. I get a little self-conscious. So this should be an easy one that's fine for everyone. Which is Monster Squad. Um, because... That is totally good for any kid to watch, pretty much. Any kid can watch Monster Squad, basically. So, look, this looks really good. That's a super excellent design. I mean, as usual, I'm sure Max Cave did it. Max Cave is the dude who does them all. Is this extra large? It looks extra big. Yeah. Yeah, but awesome. And, you know, it's got all the creatures from it. I love it's got, you know, it looks like the actual logo for Monster Squad there. So, yeah, this is a wonderful shirt. As usual, their shirt designs are pretty much always right on awesome. Okay, next thing. What should be the next thing? I'm going to do the pin next. What is this from? What is this from? This looks like it would be from... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, now I know what this is. Okay, there we go. As usual, the pins look good too. This must be from a Blade... Two, which I believe is the one that Guillermo del Toro did. Sorry, is that not... Sorry, the focusing on that isn't so hot. I'm going to have to ha hold it at the right distance because I'd have to, like, manually focus it. But the detail is always good on the pins. You know, they're enamel, double-backed pins. They're always looking good. So this is that special version of vampires from Blade Two that end up eating other vampires in addition to people. Um... Good movie, actually. That's that's is quite a good film that a lot of people tend to forget how good it is. The first Blade is fun. I think the second Blade is more on the horror uh, perspective or the horror spectrum of things, like further over on horror. So this is a good. That's good. I should probably own that at some point. So it feels like maybe they have kind of like a small resin piece in here. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the property that I was very interested in, and that's um, Larry Cohen's film, The Stuff. I've been a fan of The Stuff. I actually own the Blu-ray. It's in here somewhere. And um, great underrated film. The Stuff for the, you know, magnet piece. Um, it's a, I mean, it's cool for what it is, but, like, these, these magnet pieces, they're always just kind of... They try to keep them real simple just because, you know, they feel like they're kind of quick pieces that get included... But this one, more detailed than you would think for most of their magnet pieces. But it's also super easy to, to paint these because, what, it's three colors, basically. I mean, the sculpt is the toughest part of it, really. And then, But then once you do that initial sculpt, you can kind of do it all, you know, from that one form. 
So it's solid. Um, yeah, I mean, good enough. But this is what I wanted a shirt for. I want a shirt for the stuff. And if Jay Stevens, the guy who runs Fright Crate, if you end up seeing this, please, in the future, can you get us a stuff shirt? I would love the stuff as a shirt. That would be amazing. That's my uh, favor that I'm going to ask of you. Please. Okay, so it feels like there's like a print, either an art print in here or like an autograph art print. Okay, uh, Max Cave. So it's going to look good because obviously he's the guy who does the shirts as well. Uh, and funny enough, it's Hellraiser. Clyde Barker's Hellraiser. I mean, look. I can just add it to the fact that I have, you know, Doug Bradley. <laughs> Doug Bradley is pinhead signed there. I have a Hellraiser thing there. I have the, sorry, Clive Barker signed thing here with, Hel uh, with pinhead on it. And another pinhead. I mean, it's really good. I like how they have just a little portion of the Lament configuration right there poking out of the top. That's really cool and kind of like the chains hanging down. Really good detail to it. The face, to be honest, the face looks a little more, like, squished than what Doug Bradley's actual face looks like. His little, he's, a, he's a little longer, I believe. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking of it a little differently. But, yeah. I mean, good piece. It actually kind of looks like airbrushed is the art style, is what it looks like. I'm sure, I don't, I don't know that it actually is, but that's what it looks like, appears to be. So I think the last thing, it looks like there's just like randomly a piece of blank white paper for some reason. So the last thing is the big resin piece that they always have. And this is, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's Evil Dead. I think Evil Dead 2 specifically. Boom, that looks cool. I mean, you could have done something more, a bit more interesting from Evil Dead 2. I mean, they already had the one piece, I actually have it sitting over there from uh, Army of Darkness, of Ash, Evil Ash from Army, Army of Darkness. The painting on the back is really weak, though, I will say. Like, I know it's just black, but you can tell, like, it's, they did, like, one coat, and the coat's weak, so it's actually just, like, gray for most of it. Not like that's a big deal because I'm not going to have that facing forward. Um, for the most part, the painting is, I don't know, the purple lines are a little messy. You know, like some don't go all the way down. Yeah, it's a little messy as far as from a paint perspective. On the shirt, that is. The rest of it's not bad. I mean, they kept his hair like one color. They kept his face one color. It looks like they really did try to simplify this. And I feel like sometimes when they do do these pieces, it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's a rush job because they're always good looking. It's just in comparison to other times, it seems like they have more time versus other times. So like like I was saying, like the uh, the uh, Army of Darkness one, Evil Ash, there, there's a lot more that went into it. Well, I'll just pull it over here. Hold on. Because it's within reaching distance. So like if you look at all the detail in this one, like there's a... The sculpt job is way more detailed. The paint job is way more detailed on this one. Like, you can just tell. And then in comparison to this, like, this is way more simplistic, sculpt job-wise and paint-wise. So I feel like they probably selected this particular piece or this subject to be the sculpt because it's relatively simplistic. Because I feel like they probably did, just didn't have enough time as opposed to whenever this was done, they started it ahead enough to, and they had like a great huge idea for it so this kind of shows you what i'm talking about between when i feel like they have a good amount of time and they don't have a whole lot of time just saying but for what it, for what character they were going for it looks good just saying i can tell when they have time and when they don't anyway um let's read about these pieces Exclusive Ed Bust from Evil Dead 2. We all have a warm spot for parasitic demons. This 4-inch bust is brought to you by Serial Resin Co. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. Always is, and they always do a good job. Exclusive Monster Squad shirt. It's a monster mash. This exclusive shirt is designed by our favorite collaborator, Max Cave. Always doing wonderful work. Exclusive The Stuff Magnet. Another amazing Serial Resin Co. piece of our favorite mysterious substance. 
Exclusive Reaper pin from Blade 2. Witness the evolution in vampires with this pin. It, two inches double post soft enamel. And pinhead exclusive art print. Amazing art print by Max Cave, our favorite artist. Yes, he does a good job. So here's the thing. Um, I feel like when they get these more interesting films that they're going to have in the box, I feel like that's when I want them to go with either the shirt or the resin piece. Um, be, but it just kind of seems like with they're, they're going with a lot of the same things. I mean, the fact that there was Evil Dead 2 and there was Army of Darkness within probably about the last year or so within each other. Like, I feel like that's just too close. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to see, you know, even just do the stuff as a, as a bigger piece. I don't know. I'm just saying. When I, I'm just saying that when I see more like a property like this pop up for what they're going to have in the box... I start to get hopeful that it'll either be the larger resin piece or the shirt because I feel like that's what people look forward to most in the box. Like, those are the big pieces that people really look forward to. So, I mean, I get it that they would do more, you know, highly thought of properties, but they've put Nightmare on Elm Street in the box a lot. They put, you know, Friday the 13th stuff in the box a lot. Now they've put, you know, Evil Dead type stuff in a few times. Um, I just kind of want to see some more kind of obscurish stuff like either the stuff or, you know, other things that people find fun. Where's Chud? Where's the Chud? As Joe Bob would say, where's the Chud? But anyway, oh, and Hellraiser. You know, Hellraiser stuff's been in a bunch too. That's another thing. So I am getting a little sick of just kind of seeing a lot of the same stuff. I'd like more variety. So when I saw the stuff was going to be in there, I was like, ding, ding, awesome. But it's not the shirt. It's not the resin piece. It's a smaller resin piece. I'll take it. And it looks good enough, but I was hoping for something more. Anyway, still a solid box. I did buy the box for May. I bought the box for June. I will buy the box for July, which is coming up soon. So you can always come to my channel for these unboxings of Fright Crate because they're always doing a good job. Um, but do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button uh, if you already aren't subscribed because that helps me out a lot. Keeps me motivated to keep doing these videos and more importantly my video or my movie review videos so i would appreciate that also hit the notification bell button because then you'll know when i'm putting up new videos whether it's one of these unboxings or those movie reviews or anything else but regardless i really thank you for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal